Lumix here with another tutorial. This one's going to be how to watermark your videos. Now why is watermarking important? Watermarking is important to show that that content is yours. I'm always telling people watermark your videos if you don't want it to get stolen because uh, at least some like an intro or something. I mean if you make a video or you get some footage that that's really good someone can just download that off YouTube and it can go viral and there could be tons of copies of that video. If you watermark it, they're they're gonna know it came from you and it's your footage. It's really it's really important to know how to do this if you wanna get if you have a big video or you want to get big on YouTube and you just don't want people to steer your content. Uh, it's really simple and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now I'm using photo or, or Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 and this should work with any of the other versions. It's it's gonna be pretty much the same you'll see. Um, so you have your watermark as you can see here in my projects box with my clips. I have this Lumixia tutorial.png. Now this is going to be my watermark and you just drag that onto your timeline. Put that over in the video too is usually what, is usually what you're going to want to put it in. Now it's going to show up here big or however your picture looks like. Now just click that and double click that picture and shrink that down to whatever size you prefer. Now I usually don't like to cover up the whole video or cover up anything so I like to keep my watermarks kind of small you know just so you can see it and someone couldn't like take that video they'd have to like have that in there they wanted to get the actual video. Now after you have that the opacity is kind of high it's, it, it's kind of showing up there. Um, if you if you really want to, uh, you don't have to do this, but turning the opacity down is um, is going to make it look a lot better. Now you're going to see in video effects, it'll be here in the effect controls on the side, and you're going to go want to go down to opacity. Just click that little arrow, and you'll see opacity here. You can either drag it by going left or right, and usually a good opacity is around 50% for what you want it to look. See. Right here it looks really good at this stage. 50% is a really good one I recommend. And that's pretty much it. You got your watermark. Now you can add a little 3D effects where it moves in and you can expand that to fit your whole video or however long you want that watermark to go on for. And that's just going to be there. And really simple guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or problems please feel free to leave a comment below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm always checking comments. And thanks for watching. See ya.